So the WBO have now ordered Demetrius Andre to defend his world title, his world middleweight title, against Billy Joe Saunders. Now, apparently he's been named as mandatory challenger. I know they've ordered him to fight uh, Billy Joe. Um, as far as I know, it is a mandatory defence. I could be wrong about that, but from what I can gather, I believe it's a mandatory. Which, you know, Billy Joe was promoted by Frank Warren. And if I sound a bit weird, by the way, it's because I'm a bit sick at the minute. But um, yeah, Billy Joe is promoted by uh, Frank Warren Fish Eyes, who has a very good relationship with the WBO, and obviously, you know, he vacated that title, so, you know, he didn't officially lose it, so, I mean, I'm sure the WBO were looking at that and thinking, okay, you know, we need a mandatory, let's make our old champion mandatory, which is what I'm thinking. It states here in the article that I'm reading, which I'm going to leave a link to, that they have until the 21st of February to come up with, basically, a solution, otherwise it goes to purse bid, and the minimum that they can bid on the purse bid is 200 grand. I can imagine it be a lot more than that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, this fight was obviously meant to happen in October. It didn't. Um, I've spoken about that in previous weeks before. I'm not going to go back into it again because it'd be just, this video just get dragged on. So, yeah, it's been, the fight was meant to happen in October. It didn't happen. And Billy Joe ended up fighting someone on the Frampton Warren undercard. I forget the guy's name. Andre fought some unknown, um, African fighter, I forget the guy's name, it was a really long name, Walter Kamandakwa, I think it was, and um, he's just coming off a win after Arthur Akaboff the weekend, so you would have to say that Demetrius Andre has, you know, the momentum going into this fight, and I think this fight really hinge on where it is, now, Billy, or sorry, officials and Eddie Hearn were able to resolve this last time, when, you know, Andre was uh, Billy Joe's mandatory, Billy Joe, I believe, was was set to get a payday in around the region of two million, as far as I believe. It was going to be on Sky, and it was meant to take place in Boston. You know, given what happened the first time, you know, with everything, with you know the the failed tests and whatever went wrong there, with the kind of you know, Boston State Athletic Commission or whatever they call themselves not wanting to sanction the fight, not wanting to give Billy Joe his license, I can imagine Fish Eyes is going to want to bid for this fight because. I don't think it went to a purse bid last time. I think he was fairly happy to let Billy Joe fight on Sky. I think this time he's really going to want to... Because Billy Joe was the champion, let's face facts. This time he's the challenger. I think Fitcher is going to want any advantage. So I think he's really going to have to put his hands in his pockets to get this fight. But how deep are Matrium's pockets? How deep are the zone's pockets? They're probably a lot deeper than BT Sport and Frank Warren. So based off of that, I can probably see this fight happening on Sky. And I can probably see this fight happening in the States, to be fair. And I'm just going to get this out there now. If this fight happens and if Billy Joe does go the WBO route and does fight Demetrius Andre, I'm going to go with Demetrius Andre in that fight. I was very unsure leading up to the first, well, leading up to the proposed first fight, um, first fight, leading up to the proposed fight in October, whether or not um, Andre would be kind of ring ready because he's been very inactive over the last few years. He had a great performance against Willie Nelson a few years back and then just seemed to, you know, come and go and, and he'd have a good day he'd have an off day um, in performances so I didn't know what kind of Demetrius Andre we'd get so I was very unsure but now we have an active Demetrius Andre he is look. he could have really put his foot in the gas in his last fight against Arthur Akboff but you know it is what it is I think that Demetrius Andre active and on his day would beat Billy Joe Saunders I don't it'd be a close fight I wouldn't rule out Billy Joe winning um, but I, I think that Demetrius Andre will win I think you've two slick sail paws it doesn't usually tend to be a very entertaining fight. And I think, you know, Demetrius Andre, he's bigger than Billy Joe. He's not as slick, but he's bigger than Billy Joe. He hits a bit harder. And, yeah, I think Demetrius Andre will, will take it on points. It'd be a close fight, and don't get me wrong, I wouldn't rule out Billy Joe. But I think that uh, Demetrius Andre will win the fight if this fight happens. Um, and, you know, it'd be interesting to see. Like, I'd be very intrigued to find out, you know, will this fight go to purse bid? Will they get something put in place? And if this fight was to happen, say Frank Warren won the purse bid, and he had this fight in Manchester, we'll say. Then then I, I'd actually probably pick Billy Joe because I remembered that uh, Demetrius Andre, he went to Germany to fight Jack Kulkai. And originally that fight was in 2016. It was said to be in 2016. And I know Demetrius Andre pulled out because he didn't want it to be in Germany. Eventually he did go over to Germany. Uh, and I think it was March of 2017, if I'm not wrong. And he had a very lackluster performance. Don't get me wrong, he won the fight. But compared to his performance prior against Willie Nelson, and of course, you know, Jack Kulkai is a little bit better than Willie Nelson. 
but he looked really ragged he looked i remember that fight clearly you know he was doing he was switching a lot because things weren't working and that kind of makes me think and, and just the way he even said it he didn't want to travel to germany that kind of makes me think that andre maybe doesn't travel the best so if this fight was happening in the uk i'd probably go with billy joe but because i think this fight's going to happen in the us i'm going to go with demetrius andre to win and uh, yeah those are my thoughts on this fight um if it happens it happens please feel free to leave your thoughts down below um and yeah let me know what you think so i'll talk to you after